لندن لیونگ ود رضوان کے اس پروگرام کے ساتھ رضوان رشید آپ کی خدمت میں حاضر ہے السلام علیکم اس ویک کے پروگرام میں ناظرین میں آپ کے ساتھ ان خبروں کا ذکر کروں گا جس کا آپ نے آلریڈی میڈیا سے نیوز سے سن چکے ہیں لیکن اس حوالے سے اس خبروں کے تناظر کے حوالے سے جو پاکستانی یا مسلمان لندن انٹیریو میں رہتے ہیں ان کا کیا ریئیکشن تھا ان کا کیا انٹریکشن تھا لوکل کمیونٹی کے ساتھ اس بارے میں میں تھوڑا سا آپ کو آگے ہی دوں گا سب سے پہلے انڈیا اور پاکستان کی کشیدگی کے حوالے سے بات اگر کی جائے تو یہ آپ نے انٹرنیشنل میڈیا پہ آلریڈی سنا ہوا ہوگا اور یہ بالخصوص کینیڈا میں بہت سے علاقوں میں اس کے بہت ڈفرنٹ ریئیکشنس بھی آئے لنڈن میں مقیم پاکستانیوں کے بہت زیادہ تعداد جو اس بات سے متفق تھی کہ جنگ کسی بھی مسئلے کا حل نہیں ہے اور اس سلسلے میں پاکستانی کمیونٹی سے کچھ لوگوں نے انڈین کمیونٹی کے ساتھ ہاتھ بڑھایا اور ان کو لے کے ایک پیس ریلی کا اہتمام کیا گیا یہ وکٹوریا پارک ڈاؤن ٹاؤن میں پیس ریلی ہوئی جس کا بہت سارے جو لوکل میڈیاز ہیں اس پہ ان کا ذکر بھی آئے گا میں آپ کو اس کا تھوڑا سا کلپ بھی دکھاؤں گا ان لوگوں کی تعداد بہت زیادہ نہیں تھی لیکن یہ ایک علامتی جو پیس واک کی گئی اس کا ایک اثر یہ ہوا کہ ہم نے ایک اویئرنیس دی کہ پاکستان اور انڈیا کے جو لوگ لنڈن میں مقیم ہیں وہ بہر صورت جنگ نہیں چاہتے وہ بہر صورت امن کے خواہاں ہیں کیونکہ ہم سمجھتے ہیں کہ جان و مال کا ضیاع دونوں اطراف سے کسی صورت بھی کسی بھی مسئلے کا حل نہیں اور دوسری جانب اور دوسری جانب پاکستانی حلقوں میں کچھ ایسے بھی لوگ تھے جن کا خیال یہ تھا کہ پاکستان ہمیشہ سے امن کی جانب رہا ہے اور ہمیشہ سے دوستی کا ہاتھ آگے بڑھایا ہے اس دفعہ انڈیا کو بھی اپنی اس جنگی جنون سے باہر نکل کے دوستی کا ہاتھ بڑھانا چاہیے اور کشمیر کے مسئلے پر ایک فیصلہ کن بات ہونی چاہیے ہی اس مسئلے کا حل ہے Yes for peace. No for war. 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 Yes for peace. پاکستان اور انڈیا کی کشیدگی کو کم کرانے میں وزیر اعظم پاکستان عمران خان کا جو ان کے پائلٹ کو چھوڑنے کا جو جو فیصلہ تھا وہ بہت سرا پاکستانی کمیونٹی نے بہت سرایا اور یہ بات سے قطع نظر کہ وہ پی ٹی آئی کے حامی ہیں یا نہیں ہیں اس فیصلے نے بہر صورت پاکستانی قوم کو بین الاقوامی حیثیت میں یہ اجاگر کیا کہ ہم امن پسند لوگ ہیں اور ہم جنگ نہیں چاہتے اور دوسری افسوسناک خبر ہمیں چرچ کرائٹ سٹی نیوزی لینڈ سے آئی جس میں پچاس مسلمانوں کو دو مساجد میں شہید کر دیا گیا اور اس واقعے کے پیچھے ایک سفید فارم ٹیررس انوالو تھا جس کو بعد میں گرفتار بھی کر لیا گیا یہ خبر پوری دنیا میں مسلمانوں پہ بجلی بن کے گری اور بالخصوص کینیڈا میں جو ایک مرٹل ملٹی کلچر سوسائٹی کا حصہ ہے اس خبر سے نہ صرف آپ کو اپنی مذہبی آزادگی سلب ہوتی ہوئی دکھائی دی بلکہ اپنی پروٹیکشن کے حوالے سے بھی بہت سے مسلمانوں کو خدشات سامنے آئے لنڈن انٹیریو میں چیف آف پولیس اور میئر آف لنڈن کو مدعو کیا گیا ان کو بلایا گیا اور ان سے اپنے اس خدشات کا اظہار کیا گیا ایڈ ہولڈر میئر آف لنڈن نے اس بات کا یقین دلایا کہ مسلمان لنڈن سٹی کا ایک سرمایہ چیف آف پولیس نے اس تقریب سے خطاب کرتے ہوئے لنڈن کی جتنی بھی مساجد تھیں ان میں گارڈز تعینات کرنے کی یقین دہانی کرائی اور اسپیشلی جمعے کی نماز کے وقت انہوں نے مزید مسل نیوزی لینڈ کے اس افسوسناک واقعے کے بعد جو ان مسلمانوں کی جانوں کا ضیاع ہوا اس سلسلے میں ایک دعا اور وہ ایک ایک وجل منعقد کی گئی وکٹوریا پارک ڈاؤن ٹاؤن لنڈن میں جس میں نہ صرف مسلمان عیسائی یہودی ہندو سکھ پوری کمیونٹی کے لوگ اس میں شریک ہوئے 
और इस बात पे हर आंख अशकबार थी और उस पचास लोगों का नाम पुकारे गए जो इस जो इस वाक़े में शहीद हुए हैं मैं इस विजल की भी छोटी सी आपको उसकी वीडियो दिखा दूंगा जिसमें आपको अंदाज़ा होगा कि कितने लोग इसमें शरीक हुए ये एक ऐसा वाक़ था जिसकी जितनी भी मजम्मत की जाए वो कम है और इस वाक़ इस विजल में कुछ लोगों ने डग फोर्ड की पॉलिसीज पे भी उंगलियां उठाई जो कि डोनाल्ड ट्रंप के साथ मुशाबा हैं और एक वाइट सुप्रमेसी को तकवीत देते हैं और इस बात का इजहार किया गया कि अगर इस पॉलिसीज का इन इकदाम का सदेबाप ना किया गया तो ये जो जैसा एक वाक़ न्यूजीलैंड में हुआ है कैनेडा में भी रूनमा हो सकते हैं इंसानी हल्कों में न्यूजीलैंड की प्राइम मिनिस्टर के जो एक फौर इकदाम थे उनका लोगों के साथ मिलना उनके दुख दर्द में शरीक होना उनको अपनी सपोर्ट देना गन्स के कानून के खिलाफ फौर इकदाम करना थैंक यू ऑल फॉर कमिंग आउट टुडे इन दिस मोमेंट ऑफ ग्रीफ एंड इन दिस एक्ट ऑफ सॉलिडेरिटी आई लाइक टू स्टार्ट बाय थिंकिंग आवर फ्रेंड्स um from the London District Labour Council for the sound system and Williams for this power so that we could gather here together I'd also like to begin by acknowledging that we are on the traditional lands of the Anishinaabek the Atawandaran the Haudenosaunee the Huron Wendat and the Lenape people otherwise known as London Ontario we include this land recognition at our event out of respect for the indigenous people on whose land we reside and to build solidarity between the indigenous and muslim communities i'd also like to send my peace and my thanks to the indigenous maori people of new zealand for standing in shared pain and in solidarity with the muslim community and for demonstrating their respect for the deceased by their continuous show of support through the hakas which i believe are a, a spiritual and an emotional act that have the power to heal us all i it never ceases to amaze me that those the only people who have ever had the right to tell me to go back to where i came from in fact have only ever opened their families and their communities with love and support to me and mine and for that i am eternally grateful jimmy gwich Vigils are difficult for me because everybody is quiet and contemplative and in all honesty all I want to do is scream and let the world know how angry I am that we are here I'm not shocked I'm not surprised I'm angry because we've seen it coming we've seen the rise of hate around the world We've read the reports and the articles telling us about the rise of hate crimes in Canada. We've seen as our elected officials like Andrew Scheer, like Doug Ford, like Jason Kenney, like Maxime Bernier rub shoulders with, make excuses for, make space for and endorse anti-immigrant and white supremacist movements as they make their way across this country. And we've shame and we've seen in this last municipal election as the likes of Faith Goldie and Kevin Johnston received tens of thousands of votes and if those names mean nothing to you then it's time to start paying attention because it is getting bad and it is getting vile out here assalam alaikum main is waqt victoria park london ke samne khada hu aur yahan pe new zealand ke musalmanon pe jo massacre hua uske silsile mein yahan pe vigil hai yahan pe musalman isai yahudi hindu sikh jitne bhi mazahib ke log hain wo yahan pe ikatthe hue hain aur ye ek bahut bada ijtema unhone kiya hai is silsile mein uski condemnation kar rahe hain aur uske liye dua kar rahe hain un logo ke liye ye ek bahut bada kadam hai jo pure london city 
किस आगे बढ़े हैं और इस बात को कंडेम करते हैं आपने सुना ही होगा कि ईसाई जूश सब लोगों ने इस चीज़ पे बहुत इसरार किया है कि एरोगेंस और बीइंग इग्नोरेंट एक ख़ास वजह है इसमें अगर वो इग्नोरेंट हैं अगर वो अपने हमसाय को अगर मुसलमानों को नहीं जानते अगर नहीं समझते ये भी एक वजह है और या फिर एरोगेंस कि वो अपने आप को उससे बेहतर समझते हैं अपनी स्किन अपने नेशनैलिटी या अपने मजाहब की वजह से ये दोनों चीज़ें ये इस चीज़ को फ़रोग देती हैं तो ये बड़ा अच्छा एकदम है इसके अलावा इस प्रोग्राम में नॉर्थ लंडन इस्लामिक सेंटर के पहली फैमिली गेट टुगेदर का हाल अहवाल भी है इस फैमिली गेट टुगेदर की एक ख़ास बात यूथ के साथ इंट्रैक्शन में की जाने वाली सोशल मीडिया पे डिबेट है इस डिबेट में इस ना चीज़ का एक छोटा सा हाथ है हमने इस डिबेट में सोशल मीडिया के अच्छे और बुरे चीज़ों का जिक्र और यूथ के व्यूज हम ले रहे हैं इस Rizwan after MBA started his career with Bank of America with his experience of over 20 plus years in the financial world and learning from top industry leaders he has led teams to penetrate new york mar new markets launch new products acquire new brands in several different countries mashallah he believes in that with clear perspective unrelenting persistence and positive mindset everyone can lead and achieve rizwan has a passion to coach train and share his struggle to help change the world but one person at a time rizwan wanted to start a conversation on social media and its impact on our lives he shared with me that most of our teens hold more information than wikipedia and looking to get more input from you he is looking to open the discussion on endless possibilities with this new phenomena and how to avoid the pitfalls without further ado please join me in welcoming rizwan rashid Thank you very much. Thank you uh, for introduction. Social media is uh, is such a uh, concept that uh, on last weekend of September, to celebrate the end of summer, we wanted to do a barbecue in our backyard. So we had some water games. We had some uh, good charade happening. And soon after, I fired up the grill, put down the beef patties and marinated chicken on the other side. While I was setting this up, on the corner of my eye, I caught my daughter with a gloomy face. I didn't let go. Vishwa, what happened? I asked. She actually responded with even more gloomy voice. Baba, my friends are having great party at the mall. And I'm looking at all the pictures on Instagram. I turned myself to my wife for help. She showed me her phone. Pictures on the Facebook full of that social media that there was a barbecue happening in had family trial, which we were supposed to go, but we decided to stay in this. Suddenly, our domestic affair paled in comparison with what we could have been doing. It is such a phenomena that you know we were uh, so indecisive that should we stay in or embark on a long journey in order to feel the happiness of both worlds. 
And that is what we call fear of missing out, or what we call FUMO in German. Before I say anything, let me ask you, out of all of you, how many have uh, internet access? Raise your hand. Everyone. Everyone. How many use internet for social media? Wonderful. I think that rather the question would be who doesn't have social media. Right? Yes, I see that hand too. Have you been informed about this FUMO before? Raise your hand. What is FUMO? FUMO is a human behavior that actually derives from our own self to acquire both part of the words. What it means in simply put that if we have half glass of full of water, we are fixating on the empty part. And uh, when, we, when you do a little bit of research, you actually find that uh, there's Dr. Dan Herman, actually a psychologist and a product engineer who actually derived and discovered this idea of human behavior and printed in Consumer uh, Magazine in 1996. He said that the urge to have both worlds, the happiness to acquire from everyone, is within everyone. And that led to further, in 2000, just mere four years, it become the global. Any good things? Okay, one. Um, a lot of us have families in Pakistan, and social media helps us to stay connected to them. Like you can send pictures of what you're doing, and it just helps you stay in touch. Excellent point. A pro. Can somebody can talk about a con? What could be a disadvantage of having social media? <clears throat> yes, he's That's a curious mind. Yeah. <laughs> That like um, it it brings us into a different world, but well, we're supposed to be in this world. Like if if you remove, if, I'm pretty sure everybody in this whole room, including me, you remove the social media from them, they'll say they'll say what's wrong. <laughs> Did I say that the kids had more knowledge than us? You actually related to exactly what it is is starting on the virtual world. We started to live in the virtual world. We got into this idea of fake news, fake faces, fake stories, all that comes also as a con in there. Part, uh, in, in northern uh, North America, I would say, you know, the king of the music was Elvis Presley. But it is no way close in comparison with the song right now we have seen is Despacito. <laughs> it's actually six billion views right now. Why? Because of social media. How many people in the world, if somebody can, kids can tell, how many people in the world? About 7 billion people. According to the survey, 57% of people have the access to internet. How much that can be? Shabazz, baby, you are good in math. 57% of 7.2 billion. You know, one thing I'm going to contradict here. Yes. Once they say 57, it's not possible that 57% of the people have access to internet. Merely, just for the logistics, where people live around the world, it's not possible. What, what, how do they count is how many people have access, and sometimes the same people have access in multiple ways. So if one person has four SIMs, or is uh, linked to other media by five, six phones or something, you want to call it five. Okay. Otherwise, I don't know if you know, there are still people in the world, more than a few billion, who never said hello on a phone. Correct. They're still yeah. so many, so, so it's not, I'm going to say Let's one, say 57 billion. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to add one thing. I'm gonna, not going to go to numbers. I'm a number guy. I'm going to add one thing. Like anything else, as Salar said, we always have a pros and cons. 
Uh, we need to know that we use a word called responsible. It is a responsible pain. Responsible. If you have a pain in your neck, the answer is not to cut your neck. Yeah. The answer is how to minimize the pain or remove it even. Yeah. So I think we need to learn to how to use social media for the best part of it. If I have my students in my class, who have four windows open, I'm teaching, I would never, I, I have the power to shut them down, but I would never shut them down. I actually said, keep on. I want to give you the choice to make a decision. That's right. So I, I, I will. So, so the pros and cons, what I was trying to uh, get to the point is 7.2 billion population. So according to the yeah. survey, according to the survey, so statistics is 57. Billion people have about 4 billion people, 4.5 billion people have access to internet. According to the new news, about 2.27 billion Facebook users. Over a billion Instagram. About 186 million Snapchat daily users. Over a billion people Twitter. There's 500 million tweets every single day. What it means that the 4 billion people who have it, they are actively using it. So I totally agree. This is part of the world we are. We gotta know it. I, I'm gonna use the same example that when a man discovered the fire, they let it burn for years. They couldn't control. They were burning themselves in it. And now we know how to use the fire. However, the step of the the word is that right now we don't know how to use the fire currently. Being responsible has to have that. So what, what it means is, it's great to connect with all the friends and family far and close. But the opportunity comes into this, will I be living in both part of the world? Yes. Uh, going off of that, I think that without social media, we wouldn't have all this information. But the negatives, um, they all revolve around self-control. and. I agree with Shabazz uncle that like we some people like most of us don't know how to use it properly or how much we use it and that's why like people get ADHD or it causes, causes a distraction but if like social media was used for like a limited amount of time there wouldn't be as many negatives as there are. Yeah how many people how many on a average how many minutes average American or North American people use social media for a day? Any guesses? Several hours. Two three hours. Several hours. Two three hours. Uh, no, that's a lot, but no. Uh, about 45 minutes. <laughs> about 45 minutes on an average, a North American use, average, across the world. In North America, Every seven minutes we check our phones. And I'm sure teen is probably half a second or so. <laughs> right? So, yes, yeah, so it's, it's actually a two-way sword that we have to understand what are the pros and what are the cons. And I'm really looking for more pros because there's more pros. Access of information is huge to me. Uh, access of, uh, you know, the building communities, having, having network, uh, the cause, if, if there's a you know, global warming, there's something this have happened, the news spread across the globe like in no time. And actually people may work on that too. What would be other things that you think would be the best? Using social media, yes? Source of income. Source of income, very interesting. There's YouTube, there's 1.5 billion YouTube users. And they're the biggest YouTubers who make how much money? Huh? I think $232 million a year. <laughs> Absolutely, they are cons. The idea is to bring it out and understanding it is so true. So today was only an information session. I didn't want, I didn't think everybody was ready. So what I really want to suggest or talk about it, that in next meeting, next uh, family get together in a month, I would like to have few of you, the youngsters, the teens, come up with the pros and cons. And we're gonna have a debate. We're gonna have three to four people debating because you will be able to teach and tell other people. Do your research on one point only 
and you will be able to debate between two of, of your groups, and whoever wins will actually leave with a trophy and a lot of prizes. Yes? What if everyone just picks one team? <laughs> <laughs> what team you would like to be? Um, pros. Pros, of course. <laughs> pros. Will there be any team who will go cons? We have cons. Cons, see? They are cons. What would you say about cons? What I would say. Yeah, what's uh, bad about social media if you were to say? Um, it causes like black human interaction between people. Wow, see, kids know. I mean, we are, kids are great in texting and Snapchatting and Instagram, but may not be able to be lack of communication in person, right? That's huge. I mean, we see this all the time. In fact, universities are conducting courses in order to bring the kids. Uh, so you guys were all part of this uh, event, which was the first uh, get together at NLIC. How did you like it? It was good, it was informative. Okay. Yeah, it was nice getting a new perspective, like from uncles and like older people older than us. Okay. Yeah, and I really enjoyed talking about something that's very like prevalent and relevant to the youth community engaged more than just you know like speaking about something that like a lot of the younger generation won't uh, feel relevant about. Um, it incorporated all ages. Um, it incorporated girls and guys. Uh, yeah, so I think that was really good for us to just be able to be more part of a community. Okay. Um, I like that we were able to give our perspective about some topics and as many lessons that we learned that I can take home with me. Good. Yeah, I thought like usually when we have these, they like are directed towards the older audience and we can't really relate to that. So like this we could relate to. Good. Good. I just well, wanted to add on that usually when we have stuff like this, it's like lecture style, so there's only like one person talking and everyone's just listening. But like you like included the audience in it, which I liked because everyone had something like to think about. Mm -hmm. And also on top of that, it felt like this whole thing was kind of revolved around us. It was speaking more to us than our parents, so it made us feel included and like that what we think actually matters. Good. So you like that kind of event uh, that continuously happened that will help you, you know, get engaged more into the community, get uh, your voices heard? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think that it's really important because we are the generation coming forward where eventually this is the generation that will, you know, inshallah be able to take over, like something like this masjid, take over the community and to educate us now is such a good step. Good. Thank you, girls. Thank you very much. Aapko event kaise laga? Aapko kaise laga ki pehla NLIC me community get together tha? Sab log aaye kaise aapko laga family unity ke baare mein? Bahut acha laga. Um, it was a really good community feeling. Um, I learned a lot from you know the kind of programs we're going to be doing and the kind of community outreach we're going to be doing. Um, it was nice. It was nice to see. So thank you very much. <laughs> well, thank, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for you. blessing us with an opportunity. If you want to say something else. Uh, okay, go ahead. Speak up. It's good. We had a nice time. It was good. Oh. Alhamdulillah. I think it's going to be very beneficial for the, the children. Uh, they're growing up and uh, a lot of the times they feel that they're lost and uh, they, they forget who they are really. Even I feel like we ourselves forget who we are. And it really helps to come to a place like this where, you know, it's arranged for you, for your benefit, where it reminds you of, you know, that, that you're a Muslim, right? More than a Pakistani and you need to be, you know, in touch with your religion, right? And uh, it doesn't mean that you can't do anything else, but, but you know, keep in touch with your reality, basically. So that's uh, the best part that, you know, I think that's going to come out of this. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And, um, you know, inshallah, I'll be bringing my children for sure. Yeah, inshallah, inshallah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wait, bhai, you have done a lot of work in this event. What do you say to Allah का शुक्र है कि अभी तक अटेंडेंस काफी अच्छी है और के मौसम बहुत खराब था और अभी भी लोग आ रहे हैं और आप देख सकते हैं कि पूरा भी हॉल जो है काफी फिल अप हुआ हुआ है और लोग लंच एंजॉय कर रहे हैं होपफुली हमारे जो नेक्स्ट प्रोग्राम है वो भी इंशाल्लाह अच्छे जाएंगे इंशाल्लाह थैंक यू ये मजबूत चीज होती है ये छोटे से होते हैं ये काम मजबूत है अच्छा आप ही जानो लाइन में आप ही आई एक्चुअली हैव आई एक्चुअली यू
Guys, how are you enjoying? Oh, it's it's great when everybody's here. You know, we see so many people around, and it's a great community event. You know, we're very lucky to have this. Thanks very much. Wonderful. And thanks to Mazharbai who has organized this event. Mazharbai, mm. it's a great community event. Mashallah, without the. चावल किचन में मजर भाई माशाल्लाह जबरदस्त कम्युनिटी गैदरिंग है बावजूद के मौसम खराब था आप क्या कहते हैं हाँ मौसम खराब था लोगों ने बड़ी हिम्मत की है आ गए और ये इस तरह के इवेंट में लोगों को इस तरह पार्टिसिपेट करने चाहिए इस तरह कर रहे हैं जितना ज़्यादा हम कम्युनिटी इकट्ठी होगी पार्टिसिपेट करेंगे एक दूसरे इवेंट्स में उतनी ही कम्युनिटी इकट्ठी होगी और इकट्ठी कम्युनिटी ही हमारे मुल्क की ज़रूरत है फिर हमारी आवाज़ जो है वो हम ऊपर तक पहुँचा सकते हैं इसम्बली सतह को हर जगह सिर्फ जब तक हम इकट्ठे होंगे फिर हमारी यूनाइटेड मैं वॉलेंटियर काम कर रहा हूँ मेरी ड्यूटी बाहर की तरफ पार्किंग कराना है इस वक्त बाहर तकरीबन फिफ्टी एट मैंने पार्क कराई है और बाकी सब कुछ बहुत अच्छा चल रहा है मेरा ख्याल है काफ़ी पार्टिसिपेशन है और बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है सबके लिए इसमें बच्चों के लिए स्पेशली आपके इवेंट सक्सेसफुल हो स्पेशली रिजवान भाई का ये स्टार्ट करेंगे आज से इंट्रोडक्शन होगा और नेक्स्ट के लिए हम होपफुल हैं थैंक यू ये नॉर्थ इस्लामिक सेंटर हमारा जो है लंदन ओंटारी में आज उसकी पहली जो है कम्यूनिटी की हमारी जो है गेट टुगेदर लंच है तो माशाल्लाह सबकी कोऑर्डिनेशन है ये वाला सालन मैंने नहीं पकाया <laughs> मैंने आपका प्रोग्राम पहले भी देखा था दैट वाज अ वंडरफुल एफर्ट एंड यहाँ पे आके बहुत अच्छा लगा मैं थोड़ा सा लेट आया हूँ बट आई होप आई डेंट मिस मच बट इट्स अ ग्रेट इस आप हमारा अपना सेंटर है अलहमद जब भी मौका मिले जरूर आएंगे बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट है बहुत सारे लोग जो भी कर रहे हैं उन्हें पता नहीं था कि वो क्यों कर रहे हैं क्या है उनके लिए अच्छा है उनके लिए बुरा है थोड़ी सी गुफ्तु के बाद मैंने रियलाइज किया कि उनकी दे हैव देर ओन ओपिनियन ऑफ सम सम पीपल आर फॉर इट सम आर अगेंस्ट इट अभी तो बहुत वेरी गुड वैलिड रीजन इन शाला इस सिलसिला के चलेगा बहुत अच्छी हेल्दी इनिशिएटिव है थैंक यू वेरी मच बहुत अच्छा प्रोग्राम रहा है माशा इन शाला देखेंगे नेक्स्ट मंथ कैसा रहेगा बहरहाल बहुत अच्छा था प्रोग्राम थैंक यू बहुत अच्छे खास तौर पर तो शाम और रिजवान आप दोनों की एफर्ट जो है इंट्रैक्शन विद द यंग जनरेशन वॉज वेरी गुड दैट बेसिकली इज द स्टार्टिंग एंड होपफुली दैट वी कैन एंगेज मोर एंड मोर यंगस्टर्स हमारा मकसद है यहाँ पर ज़्यादा यूथ को लाना क्योंकि हमारी यूथ ही हमारा फ्यूचर है और आज की डिबेट में काफ़ी बच्चों ने शिरकत की हम एक्सपेक्ट करेंगे इन और ये था नाजरीन लंदन लिविंग विद रिजवान रशीद इस प्रोग्राम में आपको बहुत सी चीज़ें मैंने दिखाई अपने फीडबैक से ज़रूर आगाह कीजिएगा और अब मुझे बताइएगा कि हम इस प्रोग्राम को मज़ीद कैसे बेहतर बना सकते हैं जा जाते जाते मैं लंदन मुस्लिम मास्क के स्कॉलर की बात दोहराऊंगा जिन्होंने विजल पे बड़ी उमदा बात की कि किसी भी रंग मस नस्ल या मजहब के बारे में जो दूसरे टेररिस्ट हैं वो दो चीज़ों का इस्तेमाल करते हैं या दो चीज़ें उसमें यूज़ होती हैं नंबर एक 
इग्नोरेंस और नंबर टू एरोगेंस बहुत से लोग ला इल्म हैं मुसलमानों के बारे में पाकिस्तानियों के बारे में तो मेरी ये गुजारिश होगी आज हम कम से कम अपने नेबर्स आसपास के जितने भी जो लोग रहते हैं आप उनको कम से कम इस्लाम के बारे में इल्म ज़रूर दें अपने अपने रहन सहन से अपने इखलाक से उनको इस्लाम के पीस के बारे में ज़रूर बताइएगा अपना और अपने बच्चों का और अपने कम्युनिटी का जरूर बहुत ख्याल रखिएगा मुझे इजाज़त दीजिए लंदन देखते रहिए लंदन लिविंग विद रिजवान रशीद अल्लाह हाफ